Putin himself, of course, has virtually no friends. Uh, the Chinese uh, absolutely are willing to do a lot of business with Russia, but that's very different from being an ally of Russia. They're not providing him with any direct military support. The Indians buying a lot of oil, they're not an ally. No one's an ally aside from rogue states, the Belarusians, the Iranians, the North Koreans. And so, yes, Kim Jong-un now in Russia um, and is willing to provide military support for Putin. What does it mean that Putin is forced to go to a country like North Korea for support? It means that Putin increasingly is isolated. Putin increasingly uh, is scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of being able to continue to fight this war. Um, and he's a rogue. He's leading a rogue state. Uh, and as we've seen with a country like Iran historically, being a rogue state means proxy wars in the region. Being a rogue state means support for terrorism. Being a rogue state means asymmetric attacks against countries in the region. Well, Russia is a lot more powerful than Iran. So that, particularly for the Europeans, I think is going to be the direction of travel over the coming year.